Hi guys, Dave Naranjo here from LinkedInConnect.com and this video today I think is very important and it's very timely because if you have been on LinkedIn this week, you might have noticed some major changes to their format. And if you haven't seen the change yet, um, because LinkedIn doesn't always roll out, roll out changes all on the same day, you will most likely see it very soon. And this is the new format, and it's not going away, it doesn't look like. So uh, anyone who uh, does lead generation for their business or is a professional lead generation company and uses LinkedIn, you're going to notice some things that um, I don't think are better. But let, let's go through them, and uh, maybe we can discover together some workarounds. I, I found some workarounds, but it's a little bit annoying. And the first thing you're going to find is that there's now... There's no advanced search, even with a premium account. I have I, I upgraded the premium. Now, I usually just use a free account, but even with premium, the search is much more limited. So, and I'm paying you know fifty-seven dollars per month for this right now. Um, so first of all, there's no advanced search button. So that very lovely feature, advanced search, is gone. There's just a remnant of it left. So what do you do if you want to find somebody? Let's say you want to find owners in the accounting industry who specialize in forensic accounting. Let's see if it's possible. And let's say they live in California, in Los Angeles, okay? So let's just type in owner first. And everyone pops up. And this is, you know, this is the top listing. If you want to just find people, You go here, and this is everyone with the title of owner. It does look, fortunately, that, that LinkedIn does pull the current titles up first. So if, even if you go here and you go, uh, you know, 10 pages in, you're still getting people with the current title of owner. Now perhaps you can do this. Let's try it. And that will guarantee that you get people with the current titles. Possibly, yep. Well, <laughs> apparently there's only 155 results when you put when you write it like this. So it's really not accurate if you want to do it that way. So let's go back, just take out current in the quotation marks. And now we're back to 13 million people, which sounds about right. And now you'll see that the last remnant of what was advanced search here is at the right. Okay, so let's add Los Angeles. So there's 329,000 owners in Los Angeles. And let's look at the accounting industry. There's 6,259. Now I want to find people that specialize in forensic accounting. So I'm going to put AND, capitalize AND as the Boolean search term, and forensic. You might not even need to put that in quotation marks since it's only one word, but let's try it this way first. And you notice when you do the search here again, unfortunately it goes back to top. You have to go back to people. And it wipes out your search over here. So you've got to start over. And that is quite annoying. Okay, so there's 175 owners in Los Angeles that have the word forensic in there. Now, I don't know if it's finding keywords or this just is in their title 
and you don't know if owner is a keyword so th there's really no rule here for finding keywords you can only put it up here in the main search um, so it's best you know for for right now from what I could tell you have to put the title and then you have to use the boolean indicator you know, in the, the boolean search word um, which is either like an and capitalized or or uh, any of the other boolean uh, search terms that you can use search words that you can use to enhance your searches um, and then let's take out the quotation marks here see if that changes anything Ah, and it brings us back <laughs> so any change that you make here brings us back here to the top results and um, then you have to go back to people and you have to put in the location again and the industry Sorry. You don't have to check these because it looks like it's pulling up everyone. So it doesn't matter. So forensic here, uh, there's 175 forensic accounts apparently. So again, I'm not sure if forensic, if, if Lincoln is saying, okay, uh, owner and forensic is in their title because there is no title area to search by. Even with the premium accounts, maybe I need to go up to business accounts. I'd rather not. But with the premium account, there's nothing like the old advanced search. So this is as accurate as you can get for now. So the title and any keywords are all mixed in together, which I think is terrible. Um, I don't know. But this is how it works. And then anytime you make a change up here, LinkedIn erases uh, what you placed over here on the right side. And um, yeah, so that's about how you can do it. So Let's see, if I was to upgrade the Sales Navigator, about another 20 euros per month. Um, so that is the reality of it right now. I probably will try it. And so, yeah, let's see. So it does have the advanced search filters. Hopefully, it's the same. I'm not sure, but we'll see. And some of these other things, I you know, I, I've been working with a free profile and generating quite a few leads for a long time. Um, but you know, I, I was told by a friend uh, that is connected with some people at LinkedIn that this change was coming. Um, and so there, there are some ways, and I've come up with some ways, some you know, some workarounds for this new format that can help you, uh, you know, do things like tagging, and that's another thing. You know, you cannot tag your contacts anymore. There's no area to put notes or uh, anything uh, for your first level contacts. So if you use LinkedIn as a tool for lead generation, um, you know, you, you can no longer really use it uh, all on LinkedIn and keep track of what these people are doing, um, which is, you know, pretty, pretty annoying. But it's the reality of what we're working with now. So let me just show you that as well. Let's see what kind of information we could find for our contacts. So you still see their contact information, whatever they give you. But um, there's no place to put notes. There's no, um, there's really no, uh, no tagging either. So if you sent them, let's say you sent them a message uh, about you know product A, and you tagged it um, sales message product A, you'd know that you sent that specific sales message about product A to you know you know 300 of your contacts. Um, that way, you don't send them the same message again. You don't want to 
want to send those people the same message about product A, maybe you want to send them about product B, a message about product B, but how are you going to do that without being able to take notes? So there are some workarounds, and I'll show you that in a future video, um, but it's all off of LinkedIn. And so it's a, you know, the, the process has been complicated a little bit by what LinkedIn did here. Uh, but, you know, they have their reasons, and, um, you know, LinkedIn is the ocean. We can't question the ocean. That's just nature. We have to roll with the tide. And, uh, you know, good luck with your lead generation efforts. Of course, if you have any questions about LinkedIn, if you're looking for a lead generation, um, you know, team, please uh, contact me at Skype at b2b.leads. That's B as in boy, the number two, B as in boy, dot leads or go to linkedinconnect.com and feel free to contact me. Thanks, guys.